on a beautiful, record-breaking February day. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, we're not even uh, to spring fully yet. Nope. Uh, we're, uh, what, 22 days and some change yeah. up from spring? Uh, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown. All right, so it feels like spring. Mm -hmm. um, feels like spring and beyond today. Um, but you know, with spring-like weather comes spring-like thunderstorms. Right. You ready for this? No. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm ready for today. Yeah. I'm not ready for tomorrow. Though. I can sum up this forecast pretty quickly. I'm going to say it like this. Yeah. Today was a record-breaking day. So we're going to go from record-breaking temperatures to thunderstorms to cold air below freezing temps to snow wow. back to warm air. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, quite it's a matter a of five days. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of five days. We do all of that. So. Yeah. Let's get this party started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So outside right now, um, today was a lovely day. 73. The record said 68. Said back in 1998. So we did break that record. 67 South Bend. 74 for Washington, Indiana. And get this, Evansville, 77 degrees today. Almost at 80 today. So I mean, amazing weather today. Of course, we had the sunshine. I mentioned that record, of course. Um, earlier, you look at the record, 68 back in 1998. I mean, that's uh, easy to beat, right? So uh, record-breaking temperatures. 72 right now feels like 72. Sun is setting. A few clouds thickening in the atmosphere as we hold steady here in the 70s this evening. Tonight, if you have plans, enjoy this mild weather. Enjoy the dry weather. I can't promise that that system stays around. Because what happens here is that we slowly first increase moisture in the atmosphere. A disturbance slides in and we see the cloud cover move in first. Now once we get to the overnight hours while we're sleeping, most of us, with the exception of third shift workers, isolated showers begin to move in. Now, this could be a strong isolated storm. It will not be widespread. And if a severe thunderstorm warning is issued overnight for us, the reason why will be large hill. I'm really more focused on the second system that arrives. We'll go through most of the afternoon pretty quiet, with the exception of a few showers. But once we get to the evening commute, we'll see isolated thunderstorms begin to pop up once again. This time, these storms are stronger, winds gustier, rain heavier, and hail within it. With that, a severe thunderstorm warning could be issued for the system. If so, hell and wind will be the primary concern. On the back edge of this system, after all of that moves out, colder air begins to sink in throughout the day on Wednesday. As a result, rain will transition to some light snow, and we'll see snow showers move through. Back to that severe threat. We are under the slight risk for you on Tuesday night. Tuesday morning, the marginal risk. The slight risk is a higher risk, scattered storms. Storms are limited in coverage and duration. Hail and wind are the primary concern, but we can't roll out an isolated tornado threat. Here's what I mean by that. Let's go over what these threats and mean for you. So Tuesday evening, um, the hail threat is large. As you can see, the area in yellow and orange is our concern, right? That's the higher threat, and brown would be the lower threat. So we see that uh, with our hail threat. Looking at the wind threat, damaging wind threat highest from Bloomington over into Indianapolis and even north to uh, South Bend there. Tornado threat is with us, not as high as some of the other threats, but it's something we'll also monitor for here as we have that isolated threat higher to the north. Tomorrow's forecast, we're still in the 70s, but numbers will begin to fall as we get into Tuesday night and colder air will sink in, but only briefly. You can see the temperatures dive down to the 40s on Wednesday, but those 40s actually happen early in the morning. Hensley Legal Group eight day forecast. Colder Wednesday afternoon with snow, warmer by the weekend, bringing you the best weekend of the year so far with temperatures in the 60s.